Hi there, my name is Alana, and when I am not filming videos about high end and luxury makeup and handbags, I actually have a real job outside of YouTube. It's not to say that YouTube is not a real job for some people, but for a channel of my size, um, I wouldn't be able to eat <laughs> or buy the bags that I talk about on YouTube if I didn't have a job outside of it. So I work full time in a nine to five corporate environment. I work in a client facing consulting role. And I think a lot about how to present myself in a way that is professional, true to who I am, practical and stylish. You know, when you're at work, you want to look good. I mean, I've been working in um, sweatpants for a while, but but, but, but things are starting to reopen here in Ontario. And I thought that this would be a fantastic time to share with you my favorite work bag. And honestly, what I think is an absolutely perfect bag for people like me who are commuting downtown to work. So the bag that I'll be sharing with you today is not a surprise because it was in the, uh, the title of the video, but it is the Kate Spade all day tote. This video off by sharing with you some of the details and specs on the bag. Then we are going to get into what I think is the most important part is what does this bag fit? Is it going to fit everything you need for your work day? Then I'm going to share with you some mod shots of me wearing the bag, how I'd style it. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about some of the deeper reasons why I think this bag is perfectly appropriate for work and for me and for you, presumably, um, for where I'm at in my career. Finally, I'm gonna share with you my recommendation and a few alternatives from Kate Spade if this bag isn't exactly what you're looking for. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below. There's gonna be timestamps. I really just want this video to be a useful resource for you, especially if you've recently returned to the office or if that's something that's on the horizon for you. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So this is the Kate Spade All Day Tote. It retails for 248 US dollars. They also have an option that has a zipper on the top. This bag has an open top. They have an option with a zipper on top and that retails for a whopping 328 US dollars. So nearly $80 more, which I, I don't understand that price difference. Anyways, um, a couple of things that are different between the bag that I'm sharing with you versus the bag that's available on the website today. My bag has contrast stitching, whereas the version that's available today has black stitching on it, which honestly I would prefer, I would definitely prefer all black stitching to contrast stitching. And then the pouch that mine comes with is maroon, sort of a, a wine burgundy shade. And the pouch that's in the current version of the bag is polka dot. Now that can of course change. Kate Spade is always bringing new colors, new options into their range. Currently, in addition to the black version, there's also a pink and an orange. We're just gonna pop that bag behind me for a little bit of eye candy. So this bag is 11 inches tall, 15 inches wide, and 5.5 inches deep. It's a single compartment bag, which we're going to get into a little bit more later. It has a strap drop of 11 inches. It has a cross grain leather. Now I love a cross grain leather, especially when it comes to a bag that we're going to be using a lot, a bag that we're gonna be putting through the ringer, a bag that we're gonna be using every day because it takes a lot longer for it to show signs of wear. And then even when it gets banged up and scratched, you can sort of pass it off as part of the leather grain. So I definitely appreciate that. The interior of the bag is a faux saffiano leather. And for my bag, the interior is a sort of beige putty color. This tote has a clip on the top to keep everything together and also comes with a wristlet. And most importantly, well, obviously a tote bag is going to fit things like a notebook or your phone. It fits a 13 inch laptop and even better in my humble opinion, it fits a 13 inch laptop with a case. A few of the other features I love about the bag. We mentioned that it has an 11 inch strap drop. So not only is that great for fitting over your shoulder, but if you live in a cold climate like me, you can fit it over your shoulder while wearing a bulky jacket. In the past, I've expressed my concern about having an open top bag, but because of the clip on this bag, it really does make things quite secure. You know, it's not like a, it's not like an open tote where your bag's just open for anyone to slip their hand in. I think this bag would be rather difficult to be stolen from. Of course, no open top bag is perfect when you're thinking of personal security. So I think that when it comes to whether to get the open top bag or a zip top bag, you really need to consider your circumstances. Previously, the reason I wasn't comfortable with an open top tote is I was taking a lot of public transport to get to work and you're just in very close proximity with other people. And that just makes me a bit, 
a bit uncomfortable. Now I think we're all uncomfortable being in close proximity to people for other reasons. Now that I've moved out to the suburbs, my commute to work either involves driving, so definitely secure in my own car, or it involves taking a commuter train, which is a little bit more of a different experience than the subway where I live. So I definitely feel secure with this bag. Um, and I think that's something, especially as women, that we need to be mindful of. So let's take a look at what fits in this bag. I've already told you, it fits a lot. But let's take a look at just how much it fits and then we will get into the styling. So let's start with the bag. Here we go, getting a little up close. As you can see, my bag has contrast stitching. It has a nice light interior, which is great if you are taking through your bag for things. And mine has a red trim. Now some of the colors might be different, but it's really the size and functionality that matter. So for reference, this is that little clip that keeps everything together and keeps your bag a little bit more secure. The bag also comes with a little pochette, which connects wonderfully on this little D-ring clip on the inside. So that way you always have it handy. Really quick, I just wanted to do a size comparison between um, the pochette it comes with and the mini pochette, just for size reference. So as you can see, it's a little bit bigger in every way, but I'm gonna show you what I keep inside here, and then we'll go into what fits inside this bag. So we open it up. This is where I like to keep all of my essentials. So for me, my essentials are those little important things that I wanna be able to access easily and not be digging through my bag. First up, we have a little card holder. This is my YSL card holder. I've been using it a lot lately. Then we're gonna go in with my AirPods because I just, I can't live without those on my commute. Well, if I'm driving, I can, but if I'm taking the train, I need those. My hand sanitizer, very important, even though things are starting to open up where I live. And then we're just gonna go with some lip products. So I've got my Pillow Talk lip liner, a Chanel lipstick, and a NARS lip gloss. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit more minimal, but as you can see, everything fits inside. There we go. So we're just gonna toss it off to the side for a minute and let's get into the main part of the bag. So because this is a work bag and it's meant for working professionals, the number one thing it needs to fit is your laptop. So this is my 13 inch MacBook Pro and I have it inside this beautiful vegan leather um, laptop case from Lambert. It's really soft and supple and I like it because it has a really, really slim profile. So there is my computer. As you can see, it fits really nicely in there, nice and flush. So now, as you can see, this bag is one big open compartment. But in a lot of ways, because of the area where it comes in here and here, I almost like to think of it as having two sides, even though it is completely open. So on one side, we have our computer, and I'm just gonna slip our little pochette on the outside. And that still leaves us with a good amount of room. So we're gonna need a water bottle. So that is my sit by swell my computer charger, an absolute essential. Sometimes I'll put that in pochette, but usually because of the way I keep this bag organized, I don't mind it floating around. We've got my key pouch, so I'm gonna put that on this side of the bag. So again, easy to access. I have a portable charger, which you'd of course also need a cord with. We have some sunglasses. I'm finding I'm starting to need these more and more when I'm driving. So I'm just gonna pop that inside that part of the bag. Then to give you a sense of some other things that could fit. So of course we all need a spare hair tie. Probably that should be in the pochette, but you know, we always have one floating around. Then I'm just going to add a few things to keep me warm because even though it's March, um, it's still chilly. So I've got a scarf. We've got some gloves. I really enjoy having these gloves when I'm walking around downtown. And then we have a hat. Now, as you can see, there still is a fair bit of room in here, especially if you were willing to squish things around. So you could definitely fit some snacks or a sandwich, a light lunch. I'm just gonna remove these because that's what I wanna do and things are getting warmer, so I'm not gonna need those as much soon. And as you can see, there's still lots of room left for lunch. So this is actually a lunch bag that I've just put some things in. It's from Lambert and it is insulated. So as you can see, it can fit in here. This is just an example, again, of a lunch bag. I haven't used this one yet, but it is really lovely. So that's just an example, if you're willing to stuff your bag a little bit more, you could get a lunch in there. But personally, with all of this extra space, that's the kind of place where I might put in some shopping, some lighter snacks, Personally, I don't really pack my lunch for work because I find I'm often having lunch with clients. So anyways, there is everything that fits in this bag. As you can see, it fits the essentials and then some. 
One feature about this bag I want to highlight again, and I'm sure I've highlighted it many times, is how light the interior is. Personally, I find that really helpful in a larger bag because you don't want to lose the things in your bag. And I find that the light interior makes it a lot easier to locate everything. So that is everything that fits in this bag. I think it is perfect if you're returning to work. And even with the laptop in a case, you can clip it up on the top. So there we go. That is everything that fits in this beautiful bag. Okay, so a few of the features I love about this bag. First of all, when you open it up, even though it's a dark bag, it has a light colored interior. And I find that this really helps me make sure that I'm not losing things in the dark, dark abyss of a big purse. Throughout the pandemic, I've definitely gravitated towards smaller bags, largely in part because I haven't had to take my laptop or things like that downtown for work. Um, but what I've really enjoyed is it's a lot harder to lose things when you have a smaller bag. So with a large bag like this, I definitely appreciate the, um, the lighter color interior. I think it just makes it easier to find things at the bottom. I also really appreciate, not only does it come with a pouch, but there's also an optional um, D-ring. I'm trying to hold this up. There's an optional D-ring right in here that you can attach the pouch to. So you can detach it if that's what you need to do. But I definitely appreciate knowing that I can always easily locate this little pouch. This pouch is a great place to keep things like a small wallet or your keys, any essentials that you want to keep extra secure. I also love that this bag doesn't have any pockets or dividers. I find that sometimes when you have a large bag with a lot of dividers, one, you're just giving yourself more opportunities to lose and misplace things, but two, it actually makes the bag less versatile. So because this bag has such a big open compartment, you can fit so many things in there. Your laptop, your lunch, a water bottle, a makeup bag, you know, it, on and on, shopping that you pick up throughout the day. You, know, you can fit so many things in this bag and you're not restricted really in the size or the shape or the bulk of those items. Not sure how much of this you've heard, but I have my cat outside my door and he has just been screaming at me. So this is Winston and he is my big, beautiful, fluffy, white, blue-eyed deaf kitty who makes so much sound. Um, anyways, so he's been locked outside and he's been screaming at me the entire time I've been filming this video. So here's a Winston break. He's a squirmy boy. And let's see if having him in the room will have him yelling at me less. Okay. The other thing I love about this bag is it is so plain. I think that when you're a younger professional like myself, I think that it's really smart for your career to be very mindful of what kind of bag you're bringing to work every day. I really like to bring a bag that doesn't have a ton of logos, it's not flashy, it's not out of step with what my colleagues or my boss might be carrying. Kate Spade bag or Coach or Michael Kors, you know, contemporary designer bags, those are very appropriate bags for young professionals to have at work. So Canadian, this bag works out to about $300. I will say that this is the kind of bag that you can definitely get up to 40% off depending on what Kate Spade sales are on at the moment. So I don't think I paid more than $150 or $160 for this bag. And for me, that's the price point I'm comfortable with when it comes to a work bag. I'll also say that when it comes to a work bag, if you are a working professional, you don't want your bag to be frayed or torn or to look messy. And so I'm gonna be hard on this bag. I haven't really had a chance to be hard on it because I've been working from home, um, but I have used it over the course of a couple of months for the days I have had to go into the office. And at this price point, this is a price point that I'm comfortable that when the stitches inevitably start to fray, when the bag loses its shape and gets droopy, and you know, I obviously I'm gonna do everything I can to make that day not be tomorrow and to make that day not be next year. But at least I know that when that day does come for this bag, that I will be able to say, thank you for your service. And then I will purchase effectively the same bag all over again. I think as professionals, we want our bags to look neat and polished. And so for me, it's also important to purchase a bag at a price point that I can afford to repurchase, you know, in a couple of years, or it could even be in a year. I'm not sure when that time will come, but I want a bag that I can repurchase. And again, if I was looking at a $2,000 luxury designer tote, I would have a very hard time wanting to repurchase the same type of bag. Overall, I think that this is the perfect work tote because it is pretty, it is polished, it's professional, it's functional, it's not heavy on logos, and it's just, it's a bag that gets the job done. I love how versatile it is. 
I love how many things I can fit inside of it. And honestly, I just love feeling organized and professional when I'm going into work. The other thing I'll say I love about this bag is that at the end of the day, at the end of the week, when I don't have to go into the office anymore, um, it's really easy to clean out and just keep the bag not cluttered. I definitely suffer from being the kind of person that throws tons of receipts in her bag and might end up with like eight lipsticks by the end of the week. But with this bag, it's kind of hard to do that when it's just so open. There's no hiding, you know, there's no other place to stuff your stuff in the bag. So it, for me, it forces me to keep the bag neater and better organized. So overall, I'm in love with this bag. I will say I don't understand why the zipper one is literally a hundred dollars more. Um, you know, and, and I also think it's worse with all the pockets, but I, I think this, this is the bag that you want to get. If you're looking for maybe something with a little bit more personality, I also love the Kate Spade Market Tote. That bag also fits a laptop, which to me meets the threshold for being a work appropriate bag. I have a full review on that bag. I'm gonna leave it linked down below so you can check it out. But if you are looking for a new bag for work or maybe you're returning to the office and you wanna, I don't know, treat yourself a little bit now that you're commuting back to the office, definitely check this one out. We'll leave everything linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.